Now, welcome to Time in the Shade in Shady Oak Ministries, and now, the fake news. Feminists have shamed the God of Israel as a sexist for never speaking to women. For example, when he came to visit Abraham in Genesis 16, he appeared to and spoke to Hagar personally. I mean, when he appeared to Abraham reminding him about his promise to give him a son through Sarah in Genesis 18.15, he spoke to Sarah personally. I mean, in Genesis 25.23, when Rebekah was pregnant with the patriarch Israel and his older brother, God spoke to her personally about their futures. I mean, outside of Genesis, Samson's mother was spoken to personally by God regarding her unborn son's future. I mean, women weren't even considered prophets or spokeswomen for God, especially Miriam, the wife of Isaiah, Anna, or the seven daughters of Philip. I mean, Jay-Z has used the Christian support for his film, The Book of Clarence, as motivation to plan a sequel. At first, he thought to make a Muhammad film, but then remembered that calling Muhammad a black man warrants a death penalty in Islam. Oh, I see nothing. I was not here. I did not even get up this morning. <laughs> a video has been released of Palestinians sending their children to rush a group of IDF soldiers, waving a flag in protest of how inhumanely they view and treat them. In response, the IDF treated the child humanely as the parents shouted for them to start throwing rocks at the filthy Jews. So angry! Ah! People who express any disagreement, mentally or verbally, with hedonist lifestyles are claimed to have a phobia. Phobia is a reference to an irrational fear of something. And as we all know, Having anything against the intentions of the hedonist community, politically and socially, are completely irrational. We're coming for them. We're coming for your children. Transgender and mass shooter Ganise Moreno recently attacked Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, with, quote, free Palestine, unquote, engraved on her rifle. In response, Hamas spokesman denounced her, saying that she isn't their agent. They hang those people. <coughs> Pedophile apologist Daniel Hatikachu has clarified that a child as old as 11 months is eligible for marriage, if they show signs of physical maturity. Like all the articles he references in support of his views, he is praying that no one actually knows what he means by that. I got a hiccup. And that's the news. Thank you all, and good night.